A DDOT bus driver hospitalized tonight after a violent crash on Detroit's east side that involved a number of vehicles. That bus crashed into a local car dealership, knocking down power lines. It happened at the intersection of DeQuinder and East Outer Drive. Larry Spruill is live at the scene, and Larry, police blocked off that area for hours. Devin and Kimberly, it was a mess out here for hours tonight. As a matter of fact, they just opened up the intersection about two minutes before our 11 o'clock newscast. There were glass on the ground, power lines on the ground. That DDOT bus hit this car dealership right across the street. Let's break the details. I had one of my employees call me. He said, we're the one big bus ran to your shop. Fareed Hermes of King Auto Sales recalls the phone call he got Friday night that forced him to drop everything immediately. They uh, hit the fence and went all the way to your shop, so I just came directly to see what's going on over here. Police said a 23-year-old driver, this purple Magnum, caused this multi-car accident involving a Detroit Department of Transportation bus at the intersection of the Quinder and East Outer Drive. That bus crashed into King Auto Cells. Now our cameras were rolling as emergency crews transported the 28-year-old bus driver to the hospital. It appears that a, a, a speeding vehicle broadsided the bus. The bus uh, hit some poles and uh, the bus driver was ejected uh, from the vehicle. And uh, my understanding is he's, he's okay, but I don't know his exact condition. Uh, the, the vehicle that hit him the, the person has been arrested, but he's also injured. He's at the hospital, but in custody. And uh, there's been some evidence uh, taken from that situation. For hours Friday night, police blocked off the intersection. Tow trucks eventually taken the cars and bus away, while DTE crews worked on power lines knocked over from the accident. Now, we do know that that bus driver is recovering at the hospital tonight. The driver or the suspect that police are calling him has non-life-threatening injuries. Now, he could possibly face, face fleeing and eluding charges. We are live on the Choice East Side tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.